uh, your actual uh, plutonium bomb dropped to Nagasaki. When did you heard about it, and how did you learn it? Oh, just uh, in the newspapers. Again. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was out in Berkeley then. I um, uh, just the time that the Hiroshima bomb was dropped. I. Uh, made a visit to Berkeley, and I learned about it uh, in the newspapers by getting off the train and buying a newspaper and seeing the headline on the way. Then I got out to Berkeley and uh, see the uh, Hiroshima bomb was August 6th, and I got out to Berkeley about the 7th or 8th, and then the uh, Nagasaki bomb came on August 9th, and then I learned about that in the newspaper. And uh, did you know that the Nagasaki one is a plutonium bomb and the Hiroshima one was oh, uranium yes. one? Well, yes, because uh, uh, President Truman made a statement at that time, yes, and mentioned that it was uh, uh, Nagasaki was a plutonium bomb. Since you have signed at the recommendation of the Frank Committee and you were not uh, willing to see uh, or you didn't want to see that the actual bomb to be used against Japan before uh, any sort of uh, ultimatum or uh, the, uh, That's the right. public demonstration was made. That's uh, right. Then what was your reaction when you read that uh, the news of uh, usage of atomic bombs? Oh, well, uh, I'm not the person that uh, uh, worries about something that's already happened. I mean, it, it had happened. And uh, also, there was the possibility of saving a lot of lives that would have been lost uh, if there had been an invasion of Japan. You know, both American and, uh, and uh, Japanese lives. So I, uh, I, I didn't worry anymore about it. I'm just not the type, uh, uh, there wasn't any point in it. I mean, it had been done and that was it. There is always an argument saying that uh, that the dropping of uh, two atomic bombs against Japan was actually unnecessary. How would you well, think about uh, that sort of argument? Uh, well, I, I would say that the dropping of the second bomb was unnecessary. Um, the uh, first bomb uh, did bring a quick end to the war. シーボーグ博士は14歳の時から毎日克明に日記を書き続け、そのすべてが現代。第二次世界大戦後のアメリカは勝利を祝う喜びと世界のトップに躍り出たという自信に満ち溢れていました。しかし、平和は長くは続きませんでしたシーボーグ博士が再び教授として大学に戻って間もなく世界は冷戦時代に突入していきました<音楽>アメリカとソ連は真っ向から対立し核兵器の開発に向けて果てしない軍拡競争を繰り広げましたし両大国の睨み合いが続く中博士は原子力委員会の委員長に任命されます。1961年から10年にわたる在任期間中博士はアメリカの原子力の管理開発に携わる一方核兵器の拡散を防ぐため積極的に活動をしました1962年キューバに核ミサイルを配備しようとしたソ連の動きをめぐって両大国の対立は頂点に達します世界中を核戦争の恐怖に陥れた末に危うく回避されたこのキューバ危機は世界に改めて核の危険性を認識させましたこ
この危機を教訓として63年に部分的核実験禁止条約が調印されましたさらに5年後核を持たない国が核武装することなどを禁じた NPT 核拡散防止条約が調印されます米ソ両大国は核軍縮への一歩を踏み出したのです。シーボーグ博士は当時のジョンソン大統領とともにこの条約の調印に向けて大きく貢献しました。部分的核実験禁止条約は包括的核実験禁止条約にまた有効期限が付けられていた NPT は無期限に延長されましたシーボーグ博士の望んだ核軍縮が少しずつ前進しています So, well, it took、uh, more than 30 years or 40 yeah, years yeah,、uh, yeah. to achieve that sort of、uh, the goal、yes. you envisioned in the past.、Yes. Now,、uh, <clears throat> when you look at the clauses of、uh, non proliferation treaty, the, there is a kind of a commitment by the nuclear powers to faithfully negotiate to、yeah. the, the, or The means and ways and means to attain the nuclear disarmament.、Yes. And yet,、uh, from the viewpoint of、uh, non nuclear states,、uh, including Japan,、uh, the effort of、uh, those nuclear powers are not still enough. No.、Um, actually, they,、uh, when the、uh, Test Ban Treaty was signed and, and the Non Proliferation Treaty, both. Uh, there was a commitment by the nuclear powers to, to, to、uh, cut back on the weapons. There were review conferences for the nuclear,、uh, for the non proliferation treaties held every five years.、Uh, and then、uh, at those review conferences, the non nuclear powers、uh, expressed their dissatisfaction with the fact that the nuclear powers were not making steps to cut back. On the、uh, nuclear weapons and so forth.、Uh, and finally, at the 25th anniversary in 1995, May of 1995,、uh, the uh, uh, agreement was made to extend the non proliferation treaty in, in perpetuity、yes. uh, uh, with the understanding that the nuclear powers would go ahead with a comprehensive test ban treaty, which they did. And they,、uh, Following years, as I've,、uh, the following year, as I've indicated. Yes. But、uh, as for、uh, the countries like India,、uh, th they think that uh, uh, still the nuclear power's effort is not enough, and nuclear powers are trying to well,、uh, yeah, exclude、right. others the, to. That、uh, is right. For the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty to、uh, come into force, Uh, it has to be ratified by the 44 countries that have nuclear、uh, power reactors uh, for uh, the generation of electricity. Uh, and uh, some countries like uh, India uh, have indicated that they will not、uh, ratify the treaty、uh, unless the United States makes、uh, much more、uh, progress in、uh, cutting back on.、Uh, Uh, the production of fissionable material and, and、uh, so forth. And do you think that the United States and also Russia and other nuclear powers are responding enough to meet I, the, well, the demand? I, I, I think so. The, 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 it will be reviewed again in, in about、uh, three years. And、uh, I think it will be possible uh, to uh, bring these other countries around, like,、uh, like India. And、uh, finally, obtain、uh, a comprehensive test ban treaty. In the meantime, no、uh, country is, is, is testing nuclear weapons. They're all、uh, adhering to the treaty. It's just a matter of getting a formal、uh, ratification. Uh, let me ask you a little bit more well, technical terms of、uh, comprehensive test ban treaty.、Uh, well, the United States has. Recently conducted the, sec、uh, the, the second、uh, so called subcritical nuclear test under the, the desert of、uh, Nevada. 
uh, to well, and the United States uh, Atomic Energy Commission said that uh, that test was necessary to well, maintain uh, the uh, the confidence on the the existing nuclear arsenals. Yeah. But would you would you agree with that? No, or? I, I don't think that uh, those tests are are necessary for that purpose. And there are a lot of uh, scientists. Uh, who uh, uh, agree with me uh, on this, including some from the uh, nuclear weapons uh, laboratories. It's just that the uh, weapons are uh, so well built that if you don't change them, if you don't uh, try to improve them, um, it, it is easy to reconstruct them, uh, replace the uh, uh, explosive uh, 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 component to replace the tritium and, and so forth, and uh, uh, be absolutely assured that uh, they will uh, uh, work adequately, that, that they will uh, be efficiently uh, uh, explosive. It's not necessary to make these tests. It's just possible to go and uh, inspect them and look at them and replace any deficient parts. I see. So even the plutonium component uh, can be well, uh, well investigated and checked and the, uh, the plutonium kept in the state. Yeah, there, the, the, there's the fear, of course, that it'll, it'll be a deterioration and, uh, 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 and so forth, uh, uh, corrosion and uh, uh, this can be uh, inspected, and if there is a problem there, uh, the plutonium can be uh, replaced. But of course, we're trying to go in the direction now where we're uh, dismantling the uh, the weapons under the START treaties and so forth. Now, uh, let's go into the the question of START treaty and the uh, dismantling of uh, the nuclear weapons. Uh, well. Since the end of the uh, Cold War, yeah. uh, there, was, uh, uh, any pos uh, there wasn't any possibility of uh, reducing the nuclear arsenals so drastically. But yeah. after the end of Cold War, yeah. we are now witnessing the number of the nuclear weapons uh, reduced from the, the range of uh, 60,000 to 26,000 nowadays. Well, actually, START 1 uh, signed in... Uh, 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 which went into effect in 1994, uh, reduces the uh, weapons to 8,000 yeah. on each side. And uh, then START II, uh, which was signed by the United States actually in uh, 1993, um, but has not yet been ratified, uh, re has the uh, objective of reducing the number of strategic weapons down to 3,000 to 3,500 yeah. by the year 2003. Yes. And then also uh, progress has been made on START 3, which would reduce the number of strategic uh, nuclear weapons down to 2,000 yeah. to 2,500 by the year 2000 and seven. These haven't been ratified yet, but uh, it, there's, I, I'm optimistic that the, they, they will be ratified. Well, uh, during your tenure of uh, the chairman of uh, Atomic Energy Commission, uh, you worked with uh, such prominent people like uh, Secretary McNamara of Defense or General Goodpaster. Uh, yeah. And those people are now advocating the further reduction of the nuclear weapons. Oh, yes, uh, and General Butler. Yes. And, and General uh, 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 pa Goodpaster yeah. and so forth. Yes, sir. Uh, they realize that the uh, uh, safety and security of the world uh, depends on uh, cutting back on these uh, uh, nuclear weapons, and they're very active in trying to cut back uh, uh, even more drastically, yes. and also to uh, uh, stop the production of uh, fissionable material for, uh, for weapons.